we've reached the finale of the Carbach Round Rock Classic. LSU and Sam Houston State. The Tigers suffering their first loss of the season yesterday while Sam Houston tries to finish the weekend unbeaten here at Dell Diamond. I'm Chris Mykoski alongside Kyle Peterson and Ben McDonald. And Ben will start with Sam Houston, these hot bats. And what a huge opportunity it is for the Bearcats against the number one ranked team in the land. Yeah, you thought the Bearcats' strength would be its offense. They returned six everyday players from last year, a team that hit 305 last year. They have not disappointed. 31 hits in these two games right now. They put up 14 runs. In the bottom part of that lineup, guys, if you look, Joe Redfield and Miles Jefferson, 11 hits between the eight and the nine hole guys. And the crazy thing about the 31 hits, Contreras, they're all Americans, has not picked up a base hit yet. That's how deep this lineup is. Well, LSU suffered its first setback. And talking to Coach Jay Johnson in pregame, he said, Kyle, he, they treat every game like it's a playoff game. So it shouldn't be a problem for them to bounce back. No, and I think you got to realize right now for LSU, which is nothing new to LSU, they're going to get everybody's best shot. I mean, it's just the way it's going to be this year. And for Iowa, they thumped them yesterday. But at the end of the day, if you're LSU, you got to be you got to be ready for that. They could beat 12-4. And I think every LSU, when you look at the balance of the two games, you've been okay, but there's nothing about it that really stands out. They have not been that offensive. I mean, Devin Dugas has three hits. Dylan Cruz has four. But aside from that, nobody else in the starting lineup has more than one hit the last two days. So you would expect the offense to come back a little bit more today for LSU. This 2-2 pitch driven into right field and on to the berm. Home run, Braden Jobert, his second of the season the Tigers strike first it's two to nothing well Joe Bear did that 18 times last year the batting average only 256 last year so he wanted his swing decisions to be better this year but one thing he can do he can certainly blow it out of the ballpark and Jay Johnson is hoping he sees about two or three more of those this year it was off speed I don't know if it was a breakable that came back in we'll see it right here and he's Trying to sit and look like a little slider. Slider that came back right into that barrel path. And for Joe Bear, how many home runs he hit in junior college? 30? 30. Hit 30 Delgado. He had 18 last year at LSU. He can do that, man. And he doesn't need to get all of it. You felt like this offense was going to come alive today, and they did in the first. Oh. Back over, and this time they got him. Brewster. Caught. LSU trying to run him down. Now they've got him. Score that one. He's going to score it an out. Out. Makes it a lot easier. Out. But I think Jordan Thompson saw Chase Shores at first base and goes, no, I just think I'm going to run him down and tag it. I don't want to give it to the big guy standing at first base. Jared Jones swings at the first pitch. Right down the line. And he'll have a stand-up double to begin the top of the second. Including a huge finale against Western Michigan. One week ago today, had a two-run homer to left in the bottom of the fifth and then added an RBI single in the seventh. Here, we'll see if it falls. It does, right in front of Chadwick, and LSU adds a third run. RBI single by Thompson, plating Jones. All right, now, Ben, so we, we talked about the wind. We talked about the ballpark. Any of the last two days, that's an out because there's no way you're playing as deep as – as Chadwick is right now in right field because you weren't worried about the wind here. The wind's going to play a little bit different. LSU's already hit one ball out to hit another one to the base of the fence. Chadwick playing deeper, and Thompson just hit it in the right spot. Yeah. And I like Jordan Thompson's approach, right? A one rip to left. Fair. Here comes Thompson. And here comes Dugas. They'll send him. Five nothing Tigers. Dylan Cruz comes through that with a two-run double. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Get a guy, a couple guys on in front of him. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty special. He really is. And and I think you know having Gavin Dugas, fifth-year senior, he's going to see a lot of pitches, high on-base percentage, and I think that works out perfect for Dylan Cruz because he's going to hit the guys on base a lot this year. The bat speed, it's a pretty flat stroke through the zone, barrels up another one. So a two-for-two two day for Dylan Cruz so far, two RBIs. And Dugas scores all the way third base we couldn't see it but apparently Brewster had a little bit of trouble in that left field corner getting the ball in the full counts Joe Bear to right gone 
again. Almost all the way up the berm. The Tigers pouring it on in the second inning. That's two jacks for Joe Bear, and it's seven to nothing, LSU. Yeah, down, down in Baton Rouge, they call that a Joe bomb, and that's the second one of the game for Joe Bear. You mentioned 18 home runs last year, and I tell you what, he feels like he's stronger, he's faster, he's dropped 25 pounds. He says the bat speed is better, and boy, he's put on a show so far today, and so is LSU. Cruz. That'll stay in the infield. Now it's a matter of communication with the wind. And it falls. Tyler Davis trying to stab it. Couldn't. And both Tigers score. Of all the infielders, that's the last guy you want to catch. Yeah. The very last guy. Because Short stop, the, right? He's captain it's, of your infield. And it's coming back to him. He's going to get beat pretty bad from time to time. Mm -hmm. Because it'll tell your coach how you handle that adversity. Thompson gets it into right field. and gets past Chadwick. Morgan scores. And here comes Jones. Thompson will be stopped at third base. Two more Tigers come in. 12 to nothing. LSU over Sam Houston. Sam Houston plays a pretty good defense leading up to this game, but they've not been on par so far in this ball game period. That'll go down as a single and probably an RBI, I am guessing. You can see the right fielder, Chadwick, comes in. The ball just gets right under his glove, and the race is on for Jordan Thompson. Will he get from home all the way back to home? Right there, the brakes are put on. He checks up, and LSU pushes across a couple more. Full of hits. The one one from money in the right fray coming on to make the grab and the LSU Tigers capture the 2023 Carbach Round Rock Classic Championship with a 16 to 4 win over Sam Houston LSU claiming the belt after winning a three team tiebreaker as both Iowa and Sam Houston also finished the tournament at two and one. You know, just get, get the belt, you get the carrying case too. That, that's, that's pretty cool. That's really good. Or display in the trophy case in Baton Rouge. Mr. Morgan gets to lift the belt first. Captain Morgan. 